Good morning, brothers. Craig here. I want to talk to you this morning about owning your schedules. One of the biggest disasters, the biggest detriments going on in the lives of men today is that they are wasting the most valuable resource they have at their disposal. The resource they can never get back. And that resource is time. You know, a lot of guys will look at the content that men are producing, like myself, like Hunter Drew. You know, guys who are married, we have kids, we have careers that we're currently working in, day jobs, if you will. We have these things, and we're still producing content. We're still putting things out there. We're continuing to add value to our fellow man. We're creating. We're, we're not just out there consuming, but we are producing. And we're doing it at a high level. And guys will look at this like, man, you got all these blog posts, you got all these videos, you're writing books, you're doing podcasts, you're, you know, you're leading inside of the fraternity of excellence. You're doing all these things while you work 50, 55 hours a week, while you have three kids who are in tough private schools and have a lot of homework and studying to do. They're in sports and different activities and you're working with them in those areas and training them, teaching them, leading them in matters of faith. You know, how do you balance all this stuff? And I'm gonna tell you guys something. You know, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. And I've talked about in past videos about how sometimes there are sacrifices that have to be made when you have desires you want to unleash on the world. Some of, sometimes that's, that sacrifice is missing sleep. It's staying up a little bit. But for most guys, that sacrifice isn't necessarily missing sleep, or at least not to a substantial degree. For most guys, what that sacrifice needs to be is simply stop sinking their time into things that are not providing the level of value that other activities would provide. So you have to decide for yourself, what is it that you want out of life? What do you want? Do you want to start a side business? Do you sit there and tell yourself, yeah, I'd like to have a side business. I'd like to have a secondary means of generating revenue for myself and my family, but I just don't have the time. While you're sitting there scrolling Twitter endlessly, while you're playing video games on a console or on your phone or on your computer, while you're masturbating to porn for hours every week. You have the time, but you're not owning your schedule, and that's the problem. You have to own your schedule. Start looking at where you're spending your time and get rid of those things that are keeping you from being able to take the actions that are necessary for you to achieve your greater desires. Are your kids slipping away from you? Are you losing their respect? Are they not listening to you? Are they not following your lead? Because you're not investing in them. You need to invest more time in them. Get off your phone, get off your computer, stop watching sports. Invest in your kids. That is a greater desire. At least it better be. And it certainly provides greater value to you both in the short term and in the long term. That is your legacy. So a lot of guys will come to me and when they ask me, how do they get more done with less? And I start digging into their schedule. So I used to be a personal fitness consultant. And when I talk about the guys that do this, this is generally where I'm pulling from. The guys who will tell me, I don't, I don't have an hour a day to work out, you know, four days a week. And when I start looking at their schedule, start asking them, okay, I want you to keep a log of everything you do for one week. Be honest. Because if you're dishonest, I can't help you. And if you're dishonest with this exercise in your own life, it's not going to help you either. You're only, you're only uh, cheating yourself. So they keep a log and, and sure enough, there's 10, 15, 20 hours of activities that they are doing or times when they are just doing nothing. Unproductive time, they're, they're wasting it. They don't even realize it because they've never taken the time to think about their schedule, think about what other activities should be taking place besides the ones that they're currently engaged in that aren't bringing that much value to their lives. So think about this stuff, guys. If you don't have, if you're going through life bored, if you're going through life without purpose, 
That is on you. You need to find what that purpose is. This doesn't have to be some grand earth moving purpose that is going to change the entire shape of the universe. Just find something that is uniquely yours, something that you want to do. Maybe you, you're in, you like woodworking or that's something that you want to get into. Start watching YouTube videos. Buy a few tools, get some wood, start messing around with it, learn a few things. If making a, a YouTube channel or, or a blog or something is, is uh, a desire that you might have, so start doing it. Stop sitting around thinking about it and wishing that it might happen. Start cutting out things that are less important, that aren't providing value to you in your schedule and start making the time to do the things that you want to do. You have to own your schedule, guys. I think that's the third time I've said it. It is so important. And we talk about bad habits, things that we do as men that we wish weren't there. The easiest way to get rid of bad habits is to replace them with better habits, better activities. Start doing things that are more valuable to you, that are positive. You know, if you struggle with porn, those times when you when you usually get drawn in to watching porn, schedule something productive to do. Schedule something that is going to be valuable to your life and not have you sitting there staring at pixels on a screen trying to live vicariously through another man getting a girl that you want to get. That is so toxic, guys. I'm not just talking about porn, I'm just talking about anything you try to do to, to live vicariously or to find cheap thrills through things that have no risk playing video games oh look i just got to level 38 wizard how cool no it isn't cool you did nothing nobody cares you built nothing in the actual world you've invested hours and days of your life in a game to be a level 38 wizard that does nothing for you what if you had invested that time in your children? What if you had invest, invested that time in thinking about a new side business you could create? What if you invested that time in developing yourself in some area as a man that you want to develop yourself in? Stop trying to live vicariously through cheap means. Get out there and earn your own victories. But you have to start by owning your schedule. You have to start by understanding where your time is being spent and start using the limited time you have effectively. Now guys who look at me and think I have you know, more hours in a day, I often say that I do because it does appear that I do because I use the time that I have more effectively. I am very mindful and intentional with the time that I have every day. Does that mean I never play video games? Does that mean I never look at social media and, and scroll and kind of entertain myself on there instead of just producing value to, to others? No, it's fine, but it has to be in moderation. And it's only after I've completed the more critical tasks for the day. Own your schedules, men. It will provide immense value to your life. Look at where you are wasting your time, get rid of your time sinks and replace them with activities that are higher value and higher reward. Yes, there may be risk, you are a man. Take calculated risks. Stop being afraid of going after the things you want in life. That's all that I have for this morning, men. Thank you for listening and watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button below so you are notified when I produce new videos. Give me a follow on Twitter at Masculine Design. It's where I am most active on social media. Uh, sign up for the newsletter, the Masculine by Design newsletter at MasculineByDesign.com slash newsletter. I uh, send out unique information there. I give special glimpses into my life, the things that I'm doing that have made my life higher value, that have made me successful in marriage and parenting. All these guys out here talking about don't get married, don't get married, nonsense. Get married, but make sure it's what you want to do and make sure you're ready for what that entails. Make sure you're ready to lead. Make sure you're ready to take charge, to be the man that your wife and your children will need to effectively lead them and to maintain frame and to be the emotional rock in that situation. If you're gonna continue spending hours and hours every week 
watching porn, playing video games, sitting in front of the television, watching sports and drinking beer, you're not ready. You're not ready for that call. But I give a glimpse into my life, the things that I'm doing to make sure that I'm successful in that. I don't regret getting married. Marriage has been one of the best things that I've, I've done for myself. I wanted to have kids, and if you want to have kids, marriage is the right situation to be in for that. I'm not going to get into all the nuances there, but it's starting to uh, get very annoying seeing all these men telling other men to either not get married. Uh, that, that's okay. That doesn't really bother me as, as long as uh, they're not telling men who want to get married not to get married because I think marriage is still a great thing. Get a prenup if you're that worried about it. And I think most men would do well to have a prenup in their marriage uh, going through the state. However, you, you will regret very much so if you have kids and build a family with a woman or multiple women outside of a lifelong committed relationship. Your children are going to suffer and that is going to bring immense pain and discontentment into your own life. These are the kinds of things I'll be talking about in the newsletter. So if you want to check that out uh, and sign up, just go to masculinebydesign.com newsletter. Finally, check out the Fraternity of Excellence. That is my close tribe of men who are driven, ambitious, and who are working to raise the standard in their lives. This includes owning their schedules, making sure that they are doing the things that are going to provide greatest, the greatest value to their lives, and holding each other accountable to that, posting what it is they're working on inside of our exclusive chat forum, and making sure that the men who are there who can provide value into what they're doing and to help them achieve their goals are sharing. That's what's going on there. It's a gigantic mastermind and it's fantastic to see uh, if that's something that you need in your life as most men do today uh, you'll want to check that out just go to fraternityofexcellence.com and when you do that and decide to sign up i look forward to getting to know you better to engaging with you inside of those walls uh, that's it for today men thank you for watching thank you for your support until next time this is craig james i am out